Hello everyone, welcome to Archival Learnings and in this video we are going to see how to connect an Excel sheet as a database in your part studio and before going to that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more of these videos if you like this video, please give it a like if you have any other doubts, please mention them in the comment section below and now we will start the process now the first thing that we need to do is we need to have an Excel sheet so this is my excel sheet where I will use this excel sheet as a database and retrieve the values from this uh, rows by writing a query in database activities and the first thing what you need to do is go to manage packages and install UiPath database activities package click on install and save and the next thing is we will you will find a database activities in the activities panel and drag a connect activity over here and if you see on the right side of the properties panel you can see a connection string the inputs are the connection string and the provider name and the name of the database provider used to access the database and it is the connection which is going to establish a database connection so for this I have a string here which is used to connect the excel sheet to the database so here the provider the provider name which is microsoft aculdb and the data source where we are going which file you are going to use as a source file and then the extended properties of that particular excel file and this is the headers if you have headers in this in your excel sheet we have headers in my excel sheet so i will keep this as s if there is no headers for your excel sheet then you can make it as no and the read only is false in this particular string so let me copy this whole path the whole string and then paste it over here here uh, the main thing that i need to change here is uh, i need to change the path so let me copy this path and paste it in the source file name just delete this one and paste this one which is report.xlsx so uh, the connection string is like this which you need to pass it on and then the provider name here you need to pass it as system dot data dot oledb and you need to pass that as a string so in the double quotes you need to pass that one if you doesn't find OLEDB uh, make sure uh, you come on to imports and then import the system.data.oledb namespace and you will be able to see that one here so let me give it a output variable which is db connection and later on uh, what we need to do is we need to write a query here we are set up the connection string which is the excel sheet is connected as connected to the database and we provided the provider name and database connection is established here in the output so we need to write a query so we will drag and execute query activity and in the existing connection an already open database connection so we need to provide db connection here and we need to write a query or here so what will be the query is select star from we need to uh, give the sheet name here sheet 1 if your excel sheet contains another sheet name you need to provide that particular uh, sheet name or here and if my sheet name here is sheet 1 so i given that as sheet 1 after that we need to make a condition over here where the date I am going to search with the date where the date equals in a single quotations we need to pass I will I will be passing this date here we need to pass on that particular date and the whole thing should be in a string so we copy this whole and make it as a string 
and you can see the error is disappeared now here the select start from sheet 1 let me open this and show you where the select start from the sheet 1 here you need to provide your own sheet name excel sheet name and where I am searching with the date so where date equal to 3 4 20 then I need to retrieve all those rows so this is what I have written in this query and let me give it an output error table variable which is dt and to see uh, whether the output is coming or not we will drag a output error table activity and a message box activity to see the rows which are separated by a particular query so the input is the data table the input data table of this particular output execute query output and let me give this as database value this is uh, the value from the database so it will be the database value it will be database value so let me quickly close this excel and now let me execute this one to see whether we are actually getting the output or not desired output in this video we are just connecting the excel sheet as a database and writing a query to retrieve all the rows which where a date is equal to 3 4 20 and here you can see the date is 3 4 20 which is Aditya learnings and Vishakapatanam now let me show you the excel file as well where we can see how many rows that contains a 3 4 20 actually and this is how uh, you can actually use an excel sheet into a database here you need to provide the connection string here you need to provide the connection string and then system.get.oledb and you need to provide an output variable which is database connection and in this uh, execute query you need to provide the existing connection as the output from this connect activity to this execute query and you need to write a query to get the values from the excel database which is excel which is converted to the database and you need to provide an output variable and we are using this output data table to see the output like this and let me show you the excel here you can see there is only two rows which contains 3 4 20 and those two are retrieved over here and this is how uh, you actually convert an excel sheet into a database in uipath studio if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more of these videos thanks for watching